Hello everybody and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today we will be tackling teamwork, which is from the December 2018 Usicle Gold Contest. So reading this problem, the important takeaways are that there are N cows, one to under 10 to the four, and each team of cows has K cows on it, where K goes up till 10 to the three. And each, the skill level of a cow on a team becomes equal to the maximum skill level cow on that team. So essentially, if I have one, 15, and seven on the same team, all three of these cows will become equal to 15 because that's the highest skill level on that team. So looking at this problem, we might be tempted to say, okay, let's, let's just go through all the possible ways to place a divider. Like we could place a divider here, maybe there, and then there, and then figure out if this is the maximum and so on and so on and recurse using that method. But n is very large, going up to 10 to the 4, and this recursion approach will definitely time out. But usually whenever we're presented with a recursion problem like this, we can simplify the time complexity using dynamic programming, or DP. And this problem screams memoization, or storing the intermediate states of your recursion, so you don't ever parse down the same branch of a tree twice. So let's first look at how we can tackle this problem. So looking at this, we can go from right to left. And what this allows us to do is say, okay, let f of k be the maximum skill level, max skill of the first k cows. first k cows. So essentially what we're trying to say is let's let's say f of 2 is the most optimal way to form teams out of the first two cows. So using this dp using this like recursive function we can say okay if we were to place a divider here between the 10 and the 5 what do we end up getting? Well we end up getting that the skill level at this point is 10 plus f of n minus 1. And then, okay, let's say we didn't put the divider there, but we put the divider here. Well, then it becomes, well, the two cows here become 10 and 10, so 20 plus f of n minus 1, n minus 2, sorry. And we repeat this approach for until we get here. Now, what's special about the divider that we just placed is that since k is 3 in this problem, since k is 3 in this problem, we can only form teams up to 3 cows. So after we say 30, plus f of n minus 3. We are forced to stop here because we can't make a team of over 4 cows. Now, what we're trying to say is that f of n, so the maximum skill level of the first n cows will be equal to the maximum between 10 plus f of n minus 1, 20 plus f of n minus 2, 30 plus f of n minus 3. Okay, we've made some progress. So if we can implement this program, it might be able to satisfy the time complexity requirement. So let's look at the time complexity of this algorithm. Well, since for every cow, we have to go k cows after it to form the different teams, we see that this algorithm reduces to O of n k. And looking at the bounds of O of, or, sorry, looking at the bounds of n and the bounds of k, we see that this algorithm will definitely pass because it's under the time restriction. So let's look at an implementation of this code. So as you can see, all I've entered in is the standard procedure, which is how to read input, how to output, and reading in the input. So first off, what we need to do is create a global DP array. And this will store 
uh, the current the states, the intermediate states. And we want to set this to have a size of n plus 1. And we use n plus 1 because it's storing the states, like the maximum scale of the first n cows. And so since arrays are zero index, we need to go one further. So we account for that. Next, we're going to fill this with integer dot max value. Now, the reason why we're going to fill the DP array with integer dot max value is because we want to know the minimum. And so we're going to store it to some really high numbers so we can always make it smaller and smaller. And we can also know when we've actually have an intermediate state. We'll get to that later. Next, we want to set the base cases that we do know. So for example, DP of zero, the first, the skill of the first zero cows will always be zero. And the skill of the first cow will always be the skill level of the first cow because no one could have taught him. But now we actually have to create our memoization algorithm. So we want this algorithm to take in arguments of the current end that we are at, the number of cows that can be put on a team, and the array of skill levels. Now, first off, since we don't want to go down the branch of a tree any more than we have to if we've already calculated it out, this is where we check if dp of cur n is not equal to integer dot max value, then we return dp of cur n, just so we don't redo that state. Next, we want an integer called max cow which will store the maximum cow we've seen up till this point. And that'll be, um, let's set that equal to zero for right now. And then we also want the, uh, an integer called max, which is what DP will be set to in the future. So we can know which, uh, which part got us the biggest amount. Remember, cause we had to check for if putting one cow on the team gave us the biggest amount, putting two cows on the team gave us the biggest amount, and that's so on and so forth. So here we create our for loop that'll say put i cows on this team and then run memoization on that. So first off, we want to check and make sure that we are in bounds. And we do that by saying only if we're current minus i is greater than or equal to zero, then we do this. And what we first want to do is see who the max cow is. So max cow equals math dot max of max cow and r of cur n minus i, the cow that we are wanting to put on this team. Now we set max equal to math dot max. We want to set it equal to the either whatever it is is the maximum or what we if we put i cows on this team. And that is done by doing i times the max cow, how many of our cows are on this team, plus the cow who's going to teach all of them, plus this function of cur n minus i, k, and r. Then finally, at the end of this function, we will set max equal to, or dp of n, cur n equal to max, and we will return dp of cur n. Now let's look at how this program fares if we print it. So system, let's just do this onto standard output for right now. Uh, memoize of n, k, and r. And here's the test case that Usico provides us. And the answer for, and as the USCO website tells us, 84. And this is the right answer. And if you were to submit this on USCO, it would get full credit. So let's submit this problem onto USCO grading server. And we do this by doing the simple pw.println of what we were going to print before. Remove this system.out.println. Make sure we are reading from the proper file. And don't forget to close your print writer. And with that done, let us go to the server. Select, and we upload teamwork. Goal, and we are.